it because this kiln, uh, this this wheel is you call it um, part bin construction. Um, it has a foot pedal, which is far too sensitive. It's a good wheel apart from that. So you're doing what the sort of the Donyak? I'm doing I'm doing oh, no, the, the Devon. North, North, Devon. North Devon ovals. So I throw it like this and I score a small circle in the middle. The circle in the outside. Mm. Mark it two mm. marks opposite each other there. And then desperately look for my narrow knife, which I can't see straight off. Um, and then I cut at an angle of a leaf shape starting from that and going round my circle mm -hmm. and back to my mark on that side and repeat on the other side. It's creating an eye. Okay, yep. Mm -hmm. Then I cut this. Lift out this leaf sheet. Turn it like so. Put that down. And then you lift the edge of the bell and with a wiggling has push it so that that line is nearly straight mm -hmm. and repeat on the other side. Lift again. And with that wiggle work that together. And then you work this join together. Say these were made in North Devon. And I do have an original somewhere, which I bought in a junk shop in East Anglia many years ago. Um, and it's interesting that, um, again, these were raw glaze once fired. If you don't get that join really well made, when you glaze it, it'll find you out and it will crack. Um, and this one that I've got is cracked on the back where they haven't really got it joined together. So you then put that leaf bit back in on top of your cut <coughs> and work that well in. And I've got a bit of an air bubble there. It's all going on the camera, don't worry. <laughs> okay, you can take time making that as smooth as you like. The important thing is getting it well worked in. Right. What I should have done when it was in the round was trim the bottom. It's much easier to trim it. Yes. <laughs> Much easier to trim it when it's round than have to try and do it like this. Okay, then of course you have to cut it again because it will have, with all that work on it, stuck. Okay, lift that off. So that's one oval dish and then I will make a square dish and of course because of the the technique that you've used you know, the, the pot has a different sort of character
Right, with this one, what I'm going to do is to cut through the wall just above the floor. Just lift the wall and then put it back down inside that so it's on the straight side. Okay. And then using off and good reason for using the bamboo rather than the knife at this stage is that because that's quite thick and curved it compresses the join whereas if you cut it through with the knife uh, there wouldn't be that compression there it's likely to come apart later in the process. I usually do all the cleaning up here on the wheel. Some people would leave this till it was uh, sort of soft, go the hard, and do it then. Not just terribly. So you've got that square, and you can emphasise the squareness in it a bit by pulling on those corners. And you can, you could cut one from three sides and make something that's more triangular. Sometimes I just cut in on one side and lift the wall so you can make a sort of kidney shape for it. So, mm. alter dishes. <laughs>